So if you've been following the news recently, there is a blizzard forecasted in the Lake Tahoe area. So I decided to come up here with my friend Louie and we're going to try to uh, camp through it. The problem when the weather is like this, there's not a lot of places to choose from to camp overnight. It boiled down to uh, two different spots. One was an interstate uh, rest stop up on Donner Pass, but we decided against that one. And uh, we're going to stay in this uh, overnight parking lot here in the town of Truckee. And I'm excited to see how this is all going to unfold. It's supposed to be a really crazy one. This is like the first time I've used the wood stove in a public setting and I think it's fine. The wind just uh, disperses the smoke enough. Like Louie's right there. I don't think I'm smoking her out, but I'll go check on her in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I like the bio blocks, but all I could find were these uh, compressed logs. But these are actually uh, pretty good. They burn hot. They don't leave a lot of ash. The only issue is that I have to split them down with the axe outside. How is everything? Good. I'm about to make some broccoli salad. You're not getting smoked out? Nope. All good. I can't yeah. smell it from inside the Jeep. So yeah. You're good. staying cozy. Yep. So is William. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's much preferable to ride out these snowstorms out on some BLM land where it's peaceful and quiet. It's a completely different experience to do it here in town, right next to some busy railroad tracks. But at least we have the peace of mind knowing all these roads will be plowed for us. But a lot of people have showed up here in this parking lot. A whole uh, smorgasbord of van lifers uh, riding out this storm alongside us. But it's starting to get windy and it's only supposed to get crazier as the day progresses. If you're not familiar with Donner Pass, there's a certain dark history that unfolded right in this very area. Basically, a group of uh, pioneers in a wagon train were trying to uh, migrate to California across uh, a very uncertain route through these uh, mountains. And uh, they got caught in an early uh, snowstorm and they were stranded for the winter of 1846 47 conditions were very bad they ran out of food and out of desperation they turned to cannibalism but today for me on the menu i'm gonna have some chili and uh I'm gonna cook everything on the wood stove try to save as much electricity as i can in case uh, we're stuck here for a couple days Chili is just such an easy fan life meal to make. Just basically put everything in the pot and let it simmer. Got diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, corn. This is a bean blend. Put it in here and just uh, rinse it off before I add it into the pot. Chili powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, hot sauce, and of course, maple syrup. Going over to a friend's house in a blizzard. <laughs> serve up some chili. Yay! Yeah, Louie brought a delicious broccoli salad here. Jump into that. Yep, get your veggies in. Look at this meal, guys. Sitting in a parking lot during 
the biggest blizzard of the year. Very good. I'm mean, starting to get really windy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of scary out there. This blizzard has totally lived up to expectations. This is the most fierce snowstorm I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the highways are all closed. There's no getting out of here. We are locked down and uh, I'm gonna try to get some sleep and we'll see uh, what we're gonna have to dig out of in the morning. The snow came down all night long. It's supposed to continue all day long. I don't think we're going anywhere today. I can see some vehicles out there driving around, but it's probably better to just like sit tight, play it safe until the, the roads are actually fully plowed. They, they've they got their hands full with this one. The operators are going to be super busy all day long trying to clean this up. Uh, it's like 1.30 now. The plow is still haven't reached this road. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to run a little low on uh, that firewood, so I'll see if I can do a hike over to the uh, hardware store, pick up some more. If it's open, we'll see. Even if they did plow us out, there's there's nowhere to go. The highway is still closed. So we're here for another night, maybe uh, maybe two nights, we'll, we'll see. Like when we first got here, there was barely any snow on the ground, maybe a foot in some places. Nearly everything you're seeing has fallen in the last 24 hours. This has got to be a, a historic event for this area. I picked up four more logs there that should get me through till uh, tomorrow afternoon at least. Some people, they like sitting on a beach, but I like this uh, storm chasing. It's, it's kind of addictive. Well, it looks like we're just uh, in for another night of hunkering down here. I think it's 50-50 whether or not I could drive the van out to uh, where the road is plowed. Right there, Louie, she says 100% with the Jeep, she could do it. Yes, those Jeep <laughs> people are a little bit confident. Yeah. Overconfident. Overconfident, just get yourself stuck <laughs> even worse. Maybe you could winch onto like one of those railroad posts. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So they finally had a chance to come to this area and clear a pathway through the snow. A few vehicles left, but for us, uh, with I-80 still closed, we decided uh, just to stay here. Not sure if that was the right choice, so maybe we uh, should have taken the opportunity to uh, drive closer to the downtown area where it's more of a priority uh, for them to uh, keep those roads plowed because it's supposed to keep snowing all night long, and I'm not sure if that pathway is still going to exist in the morning, but they're working around the clock. They're doing everything they can, and uh, it's just a matter of waiting, and I'm fine to stay in the van. I've got everything I need. It doesn't matter if I run out of uh, electricity. I can just unplug the fridge. It's just uh, a matter to keep the wood stove going. It uh, keeps me warm and cozy. I can cook on it. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you to the plow operators who uh, showed up middle of the night last night and cleared the lot. It looks like uh, we kind of have our freedom back still to be determined if we can take the interstate uh, on out of here. But I've been in many places in my life where there's this much snow on the ground, but never, never experienced this where uh, this amount falls uh, within a two-day period. I should have uh, got some uh, before shots of this parking lot because it was pretty much bare when we got here. Just like that we're back on the road again looks like there's a chance the interstate could reopen today it'd be nice to go back down to uh, lower elevations and let the van thaw out because right now it's an ice cube all the doors are frozen shut but hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, blizzard episode here in uh, Truckee California I hope uh, everyone is doing good staying safe and I'll see you in the next one wherever that is